All right, so I'm gonna be showing how to open up and disassemble this MSI Creator 17B11UH-236US and a bunch of other numbers here. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna use a PH1 or JS1 screwdriver and remove all the screws from the bottom. All right, you wanna keep the screws in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. The way I do that, I put them flat side down like that on my desk in the pattern I remove them. So I'll go across, we got another one all the way over here. <clears throat> If this video helps you out, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. If it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. All right, so anyways, we had two, two, then we have three going, or I guess four going across here. Um, the customer had their SSD removed before sending it into MSI, I guess, to have it repaired. So they just want me to replace the SSD for them. I'm not sure how they got the SSD out originally, um, but they asked me to put the SSD back in. So yeah, all right. Anyways, we're gonna go continue going across. We've got four more down here and then three at the very bottom here. Hopefully the screw for the SSD is inside the computer because I don't know where they put that screw. So yeah. All right, and there's a hidden screw underneath the factory seal here that you have to break. Okay. Just like that, and we'll move the last three here. Okay, once we get all these screws out, what we're gonna do, we're gonna open up the laptop. All right, so just open it up like this. All right, we're gonna pop the um, cover off. So I'm gonna get my fingernails in the gap here, okay? And then I'm gonna push on the palm rest, all right? And we should hopefully be able to pop the cover off. If not, we might have to go from the other side. Okay, it looks like that doesn't work from that side. So let's rotate it and go from this side. So same thing, we'll get our fingernails in the gap if we can and see if we can pop it out that way. All right, actually that side seems like it would be more difficult. So let's try with a suction cup. <coughs> Since this is so smooth, you might be able to hold down the edge here and pull up with a suction cup. And okay, it looks like it works easier from the middle edge over here. So I guess we'll start from there and work our way up. Okay, <coughs> it looks like it gets caught over here. So I'm gonna get my fingernail in the gap here. Okay, and see if we can pop these clips out. Wow, these clips on this thing are pretty strong, so they're not coming out very easily. Oh, this side was coming up, so since we got this side up with the suction cup, let's see if we can go in from here and work our way over. Okay, got these clips out. We're just gonna keep working our way down. All right. Got most of this up. And wow, this thing is tough. I don't know if it's supposed to pop out from here, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to pop out from the back here. It doesn't seem to want to go. So I'm going to rotate it and we're going to try this side. Oh, also, there's a battery reset little hole here. If you use a um, folded out paper clip or a needle, you can actually push that button. All right, anyways, let's try and pop this side up. Okay, again, using the suction cup and running my fingernail along the little edges. <clears throat> I'm assuming it's gonna be easier to go from this side, yeah. So I'm pulling the cover over this way while I kind of slide my fingernail in here. And you can see we pop these clips up just like that. All right, that worked well. I'm gonna rotate this. If you're wondering, yes, I am figuring this out as I go. So all these computers are built differently, so it takes some learning, all right? Okay, so we got all the way here. The whole front is up, so we can lift this. We can slide it over that way, kind of, while we're kind of pulling it up. And same thing, I'm running my fingernail in the little gap there. Let's see if we can pop the clip. Huh, doesn't want to come out at all. Wow, these clips back here are really strong. Come on. There we go. All right, so I'm able to get my fingernail in there and you can see we're popping these clips out, okay? Just like this. 
Okay, you can use plastic pry tools, of course, if you don't have fingernails, or you can just let your fingernails grow out. Okay, there you go. You can see we're popping all these clips out. These last ones on the end here are a little bit more difficult, but there we go. Okay, now we got all of that. We should be able to lift it out, and there we go. There's the bottom cover removed. Wow, okay, so they are missing the uh, screw here. So I don't know what I'm going to do. This design is very annoying. Um, they have two slots here. Um, because I didn't take this out originally, I don't know which one is the correct one. But I'm going to assume it came from here because this thermal pad won't touch anything if I put it on this side. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, if I put it this way, actually, oh, it hits the back of the case. Okay, let me see. I don't know if they reuse this. I think this is a completely new case. So I don't see any thermal pad residue or anything on here. But if you look at this, if I put this here, you have this whole thing of metal here. But if I put this here, then this side you have this plastic in the way. So I'm assuming it's going to go down here. Okay. Again, problem is they didn't provide the screw. I don't know what they did with the screw. Um, but anyways, I just lifted this off. It's a Samsung 980 Pro. Okay. We're going to get the SSD in here. Just like this, it goes in slightly at an angle. Okay, make sure it goes in all the way. And then this just drops down. Again, there should be a screw here. I'm gonna see if I have a screw that will fit because they're missing the screw. All right, you have all these connectors here, keyboard, keyboard backlight. I'm assuming these are like trackpad and stuff like that. Um, but I'm not gonna be messing around with it because the customer just wanted me to put the SSD back in. Um, you also have this connector here for the speakers, which connects here, and then I'm pretty sure the wire runs along underneath. Oh, I see the red and black wire to this speaker here. Okay, and you got this connector here, and it looks like everything else is underneath, which is a terrible design. I hate that, I hate that design. All right, anyways, let's get a screw and see if we have a small one that will fit. We don't want one that's too long because if it's too long, then, okay, this, it needs a skinny screw. So do I have one that will fit? Maybe this might be too long. Okay, this screw actually will fit perfectly. Okay, so that screw fit. Next thing I'm gonna do, we're gonna open it up and power it up and we'll see if it boots from the SSD. Hopefully it does, okay. Power it up, I see the keyboard lit up. Okay, I'm gonna have to hide this because I can't show the user login information, so I'm gonna tilt it this way. I'm assuming, okay, it restarted once, the keyboard came back on. And it's booting again. Okay, I see the thing spinning, so I think we should be good to go. Um, if it's working right, I'm just going to shut it down, and that should be it. Let me actually close the screen slightly here. I mean, it looks like it's booting, but it's taking a while. Fans are spinning up. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's taking a while to boot. I think it just restarted itself again. Oh no, okay, it did boot up and it just says the user name or password is incorrect. I'm going to restart one time. <laughs> the username is actually not even a name. It's just user work user and like beef supreme or something. So I guess technically it doesn't matter if you see the screen, but uh, let's see. <laughs> I'm assuming it's going to boot faster this time. I don't know because I think it was doing a BIOS reset the first time. But it does look like it's taking its time. Come on, boot up. Taking a little while. Okay, there you go. 
So it looks like it booted. So we're just gonna shut this and we're gonna put the cover back on. All right, if you're wondering the battery model number, there is one here. It's a BTY-M6M. All right, all right there, BTY-M6M. Anyways, uh, I'm not gonna take it apart any further than that. We're just gonna put the bottom cover back on. Um, I guess we'll get a screenshot here. This can be the thumbnail. Okay, and let's go ahead and put the bottom cover back on. Okay, so to put it back, I'm pretty sure you just line things up and click it all back into place and we should be good. Okay, just click everything back in. Click this all back in. Okay, just get everything lined up and click it all back together. Looks good. Go down the sides as well, make sure everything is seated properly. All right, and then we just get all the screws back in and we should be good to go. So hopefully this video helped you guys at least to see that there are two M.2 PCIe NVMe ports. So if you wanted to add more storage, you can, or if you wanted to upgrade to a larger, faster storage, you can. But if you wanted to upgrade the RAM and things like that, keep in mind you are going to have to take the entire motherboard out, which is going to be a big pain, not going to be easy, all right? And there's a risk that you're going to destroy your computer. So if you plan to try that, keep that in mind. It's not going to be easy and you run a big risk of damaging your device, okay? Anyways, we're just gonna get all these screws back in and that's pretty much all there is to it. Again, if you haven't already, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, again, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living, but um, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. So we'll get the rest of these screws back in. You're welcome to stay. The focus of my camera is like going crazy because it doesn't know what to focus on. But um, yeah, let me see if I try and, there we go, is that working? It's blurry now, but at least it's not going crazy. Let me see, can I focus on a portion of the laptop there? All right. That's pretty much all there is to it. We'll get the last few screws in and we're good to go. Last three. Okay. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Let's drop this.